All right, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be replacing my blade brakes or my blade brake. I have two brakes. One of mine is wore out. I'm gonna replace that one and I'm gonna go over how I'm gonna do that in this video. You're gonna at least need a set of sockets. I have an impact wrench and an impact drill. And I also have a 42 inch deck for the John Deere 100 series. The part number on this blade break is GY21943. I'll put this down in the description so you don't have to hunt for it. If you don't have your deck off already and you're not exactly sure how to do that, watch this video first. All right, first I'm gonna take this cover off. Pull that cover off. Take the three bolts you just took out, put them in your cover so you don't lose them. Set that aside. Next thing I'm going to do is take a video of how this all goes together. All right, we got this rod going in here with the spring on that side, which you can, there's a little notch actually where that spring goes over there. Then you have this piece. And I'm pretty sure this piece on the bottom is separate when I take that apart. I'm going to take this pulley off also. Comes over to here. Got a spring right here. It hooks on the bottom of that. Let's take this belt off. Just lay that aside. I'm going to take the spring off first and by taking that spring off, you can pull this rod out and it should slide out of there and you can spin this and that should pop right out of that brake. I'm going to lay that right here like this so I know how it goes back in. Now I'm going to take a quick clamp and just hold this brake out of the way. All right, now we're gonna take this off. Now, if you don't have an impact wrench, put a, a board down underneath to hold this blade from spinning. I think this is definitely metric, but a seven, seven sixteenths will fit on there. Now I'm gonna take my quick clamp off. This little bolt is also a 10 millimeter, just like the ones that went around the shield that was over this. Make sure you're wearing hearing protection. Take that bolt out. Yeah, see, like I said, this is separate. So that goes on top. You have a spring. And then you have this bottom piece. So there's my old brake. It was almost about ready to start rubbing into the metal. And that was like that. So the new one will go like this. Put the brake down, then the spring on top, then put this piece down inside. See that piece fits down inside there like that. I guess you could put that in first if you want. And the spring goes on top of this. And this piece goes on top of the spring. You take your bolt, start putting that in there by hand, just so you know you got it started. I'm going to check this with my ratchet. All right, it's pretty tight. 
I wouldn't suggest over tightening that. You don't want to strip that out. I don't know if I really needed that quick clamp or not. Push your brake over, put your pulley back on. And you can let go of your brake. Put the nut back on. Now let's put this piece back in. This, this part here goes up. Lay that flat like that. There's a hole right here in the side. It'll look like that hole right there. You're gonna stick that in there and turn it like that. So stick it in there and turn it up. And drop it down inside here. And take this spring and hook it back up underneath. Put your belt back on. While you have this all up, make sure your belt is in good condition. Now if you pull on this one, it should disengage both them brakes. Now put your cover back on and that's it. Make sure you start these screws too by hand so you don't strip nothing out. Don't put none of these bolts on real, real tight. It's only holding that little cover on. You're gonna strip that out too. I hope this video helped you out on changing your blade brakes on your deck on your John Deere 100 series lawnmower. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Thank you very much, God bless, and have a great day.